tuepoenda kwa kazi siliamuka zote kazi kaanguka na hakujali baba no wonder god said what i found in man a man after my own heart even to take the heart of god the easiest way is not your prayers the easiest way is not your fasting the easiest way is praise in the book of Psalm chapter 45 verse 2 In the book of Isaiah chapter 45 verse 2 For God to move in your favor for God to go before you there's what you need to do there's a demand there's what you ought to do on your side for God to do his part of again This is what the Lord says I will go before you Isaiah and level the mountains I will smash down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron This is what the Lord says to us tonight that I'm going before you, Cyrus. I'm going before you, Vincent. I'm going before you, Nicholas. I'm going before you, Mary. I'm going before you, Mother. I'm going before you, Jacob. I'm going before you, Joseph. I'm going before you. I will go before you and level the mountains. I will smash down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I'll go before you. But for God to go before you and I, there's what we need to do for God. Thing, that the Lord thy God is he which goeth over before thee. A 
consuming fire. He shall destroy them and shall bring them down before thy face. So sh shall thou drive them out and destroy them quickly, as the Lord has said unto thee. Understand that tonight it is God who is going before you. When we praise Him in a shout, in a clap, in a dance, God is tired. God is provoked. God is triggered to go before you. And when God will go, God goes before you. There is no mountain strong enough to withstand you. There is no obstacle. There is no hindrance. There is no embargo strong enough to stop you. From tonight you shall not be stopped. From tonight you shall not be stopped in Jesus' mighty name. Praise. Commands wonders at will. Praise. Praise. It changes the stories of victims into victors. Praise. In the book of Isaiah chapter 42, 10 to 15. In the book of Isaiah chapter 10, 42, 10 to 15. Are we there? And if you are there, say amen. It says what? Sing a new song to the Lord. He never said, pray a new prayer. Because it was, you are blessed with new every day. Depending on your needs. But he said, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing his praises from the ends of the earth. Sing all you who say the seas. All you who live in distant coastlands. Verse 11. Join in the chorus. Join in the chorus. You desert house. Let the villages of Jeddah rejoice. Let the villages of God rejoice. Let the people of Selah sing for joy. Shout praises from the mountain tops, from the hills, even to the coast. Shout praises and sing to the Lord. Then it says, verse 12. Let the whole world glorify the Lord. Let it sing his praises. Hallelujah. Then verse 13 reads, The Lord will march. So it's an, look at this. It's until you rejoice in the Lord. Sing to God, praise God. Then it says what? Then the Lord will march forth like a mighty hero. When we praise Him, He marches like a mighty hero. A mighty hero. A man that can never be defeated. Meaning what? Tuna wandalia mungu. Guarine la Yeshima. Amen. He will come out like a warrior. Meaning what? God is a warrior. He's a hero. We provoke that warrior, that hero in God, by praising him. He will come out like a warrior full of fire. He will shout his battle cry and cry all his enemies. Look at this. When you are praying, you are the one who is being the killing. When you are praying, you are the one who is mentioning your enemies. But when you are praising God, even without mentioning your enemies, But tonight I told God, 
If any were not allowed to play any other instrument, at least sit a symbol could blow for Fusela. I'll blow it for you. Amen. Verse 14 reads, he will say, look, have been, I have long been silent. So you are God is silent because you don't praise him. You don't praise him. He said, I've been, you know what you want to be here? I've been waiting for you to sire me, provoke me, put me into action. But you have been proud, waiting for me to move. No, I won't move until you move. I won't move until you move your leg. I won't move until you move your body. He will say, I have been, I have long been silent. Yes, I have restrained myself. But now that you are praising me, like a woman in labor, I will cry and go and pant. Hallelujah. Yeah. There is no woman that goes to labor on. You know, I can't get a little sick equality. Meanwhile, I will forget about my role. I will forget about my title. I will forget about my greatness and my mightiness. And I will rise on your behalf because you are praised me. You are praying and there is no answer. that house. Tonight, draw that issue and praise God around it. Then God of the numbers we have tonight. Forget about who came and who never came. Tonight is your night. God, don't be silent anymore concerning my matters. Don't be silent. He will say, I have long been silent. Yes, I will restrain myself. But now, like a woman in labor, I will cry and groan and burn. Verse 15. I will level the Tainuka. I will level the mountains before you. Amen. Meanwhile, when we praise God, He goes ahead of us. He straightened every crooked path before us. I will level the mountains and hills and blight all their greenery. I will turn the rivers into a, into a dry land and will dry up all the to be. 
praise and thanksgiving. Psalm 62, so he said 62, 1 to 7 is. Isaiah chapter 62, 1 to 7. Because I love Zion, I will not keep still. Because I love it here. Because I love my people, the people that praise me. I will not keep still because my heart yearns for Jerusalem. I cannot remain silent anymore. Praise Jesus. When we praise God, he says what? I will not keep silent anymore. You have been waging warfare in your own power. For it is not by might, not by power, it is by my spirit, says the Lord. Because my heart yearns for Jerusalem, I cannot remain silent. I will not stop praying for her until her righteousness shines like the dawn and her salvation blazes like a burning torch. Verse 2. The nations will see your righteousness. One leaders will be blinded by your glory and will be given a new name. Somebody say amen. amen. God, give me a new name tonight. Amen. The daughter of Herodias, she danced. And what happened? The king said, what do you want to the half of my kingdom? Just by dancing, no prayer. She danced and danced. And she said, I want the head of John the Baptist in a platter. It was given to him. It, it, it was given to her. Why? Because whatever praise demands, it cannot be withheld. It must be handed over. Whatever praise commands and whatever praise demands must be handed over. Praise will deliver to you things that you have not asked. Praise will deliver to you things that you have not begging for. What's great really is the Lord will hold you in his hand for all to see a splendid crown in the hand of God. He will hold you up in the way for everybody to see. Many times you say, when God has lifted up, when God has lifted you up, don't show. But I'll tell you the truth. When God has lifted you up, He will show you to the world. He will make you a display. He will make you a showcase that this is what I can do. What's for it? Never again will you be called the forsaken city. Of the desolate land, your new name will be the city of God's delight yeah. and the bride of God. For the Lord delights in you and will claim you as his bride. Amen. Verse 5. Your children will commit themselves to you, O Jerusalem. Just as a young man commits himself to his bride. Then God will rejoice over you as a bridegroom rejoices over his bride. Verse 6. O Jerusalem, I have posted watchmen on your walls. They will pray day and night continually. Take no rest. They are there around you. Angels are around you to deliver your, your wonders, your signs, your miracles, your healing, your lifting. They are all around you. And this what? Don't keep silent. They will pray day and night continually. Take no rest. Take no rest. All you who pray to the Lord. Verse 7. Give the Lord no rest until he completes his work. Until we praise God, until we praise God, we cannot be made a praise on earth. Until we praise God, we cannot be made a display on earth. We cannot be made a showcase on earth. God cannot display us to our generation. He cannot display us to our people. In the book of Isaiah chapter 43, 21. I'm just reading the only part of it for us to understand. Isaiah chapter 43, 21. Man, I can praise the Holy Year. Just praising God. Praising God in your heart. Praising God in your heart. When you get to know the meaning of praise and that's giving. Man, you cannot be let Sunday as you must be here. Meaning what? I want that moment of praise. I want that moment of worship just to be with my God. Yeah. Praise. 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 It says, I have made Israel for myself. And they will someday honor me before the whole world. Give me KJV version, please. KJV version. These people, God speaking himself. How are you? These people have I formed for myself. They shall show forth my praise. 
Meanwhile, these people have I formed for myself. They will show my praise. They will praise me. We were created by God and we have been singled out, separated to praise the God, to exalt God. These people have I formed for myself. They shall show for my praise. Praise is to be shown for, to be displayed. Hallelujah. Praise is your key to live our home. Pastor Ossidiani and me, we in the game of they will show. They will show. They will show. Meaning what? If God has done for you, He will show it. These people will show my praise. And tonight we are showing it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are showing it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Psalms 150, 1 to 6. Embrace the garment of praise. Embrace the garment of praise. A lifestyle, a spirit of praise. Tonight I will show you one man in the Bible that this man hit me more than anybody else in the Bible. A praiser, a worshiper, a lift up of God. May that grace have come upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Psalms 150 reads, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his holy sanctuary. Praise him in his stronghold in the sky. Verse 2. Praise him for his miracles of might. Praise him for his miracles of might. Praise him for his magnificent greatness. Verse 3. Praise him with a trumpet blasting. Praise him with trumpet Praise him with it. Amen. Come by every instrument if possible. It will make a move. Amen. It will make it. To be the move makelele. The name of Nashakwe. Amen. Because of his greatness. Hallelujah. Praise him with trumpets. Blast him. Praise him with piano and guitar. This is what made me to buy a Vuvuzel. To mix a trumpet. Big a kelele. Hajanembe ni ba. Hajanembe. I'm in the a blast. So I'm blasting. <laughs> then there are witches. Me, I'm being blasting. I'm just trying to obey the word of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Verse 40. Praise him with jobs. Nicholas. And dancing anyhow. Hallelujah. Praise him with a loud resounding clash of symbols. There is a praise him with everything. Hallelujah. 
You know, sometimes when you are driving, I, was, I read the Bible, maybe the opposite of the way you read. I'll fearfully and wonderfully made, and I'll praise the Lord. Praise the Lord with me. Because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, I'll praise the Lord. <laughs> Go ahead and celebrate. Come on. Come on. And clap your hands in the world. Shout to God with rascal sounds of joy. Come, come on. Clap. Shout. Celebrate. Ata kama una, hauna nithi kama masai. Look at you. We just go up and down. Amen. And they are seeing his dance like this. They let you in. Say that way. Amen. They can see you. Chim. Hallelujah. At least they get the to the good that we should check to They come they Meanwhile, where can you be? Like how you Those who are lazy, they were lazy. You are not lazy. Then do something about your life. Hallelujah. You are not lazy. Clap anyhow in God and praise you. For you to look at this. When you are praising God, there's a man marching before you. There is a warrior being before you. Show me the warrior. Show me the force. Show me the power that can withstand God and oppose him. And I will show you now. He will go before you as a consuming fire. The wonders of praise. Psalms 47, 6 and 7. Praise softens the heart of God. 
it softens the heart of men. No matter how ugly a person is or how much they hate, they hate you, just please them. That stony heart in them is removed. Even, even God Himself takes pleasure in being praised. Exodus chapter 15, 11 reads Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the boss? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? So when we praise him, he does wonders. Amen. When we praise him, when we exalt him, he performs wonders in our lives. Things that men cannot comprehend, things that mortal men cannot do, are the things that God do. When we praise him, God will praise you because what you have done to me, my mother could not have done it to me. My wife could not have done it to me, but God, you have done it to me. I praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, big wonders? Look at Moses in the book of Exodus chapter 15, 1 and 3. This man called Moses, he was a prophet, a deliverer. But this man sang praises to God. Then, then sang who? Moses. Moses. Who? Moses. The stammerer. Meaning what? Even if you are a stammerer here, sing. Amen. 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 you give a Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I mean by saying it, I want to say, Pastor Paul, you'll bring your Fuzela here. Yes. Amen. Amen. Was it a man? Hata Masiviki. Hata Masiviki. What I mean, big young baby. Then Sam Moses and the children of Israel, this song, this song, unto the Lord, and speak, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The host that is right there has been thrown into the sea. They yeah. sang. They sang before he did. Yes. They sang to him. Mm -hmm. ah, God had destroyed the horse and the rider. And God had no choice but to do it. Yeah. yeah. They sang. Verse 2. The Lord is my strength and so and is become my salvation. Is my God, and I will prepare him an habitation. My father is God, and, and I will exalt him. But three, the Lord is a man of war. Uh -huh. The Lord is his name. They sang to the man of war. So tonight we are singing to this man, the man of war. How do we provoke God into action? Look at Psalm 68. God is not triggered into action by prayers. He is not triggered into action. That's why with prayers you can be told wait, or get the answer, or never get the answer. With prayers. Do you know that? Yes. But with prayers, show me any man who prays God, and you're to wait now. Every man, every man who prays God, instantly God answer. And I pray for you, as I pray for myself tonight, that tonight will give your best to God in the name of Jesus Christ. He is there today. And Viviana, I was in Embu and I had a clear voice. You will never have a baby boy. You will never have. I have never forgotten. It was a trumpet morning, Sunday. Trumpet. Trumpet day. First of a sudden given month. And trumpet in Minas is to praise God. The beginning of the month is nothing but praising God. Opening the womb of the man. Mm -hmm. And that day, I see yes, only Peter come back in. Peter. <coughs> this man, I live my womb on a hymn shallow with a mother. I praise God. I dance my dances. And God told me today I've given you that. Mm -hmm. Pastor Joy is here. And I like God. I'm the one who thought to know she had twins before she knew. Let me make Papa. I danced, I had a voice. I've given you twins. And your boy will come. Then I was coming from Mongai. I got a tear by the Wilson Airport. Had a little bit up with Kuna Jubal in the Molengai. And when I saw the two Lengai house, and God told me, take that name. Come here for what? Because you will need it. 
There's a child I'm bringing you away that you never expected. Come, I know my wife is expected. But is there any other child that you're bringing? I'm going to begin to go And that time, the name Hegi came, even before Vicky was born. We had the name Hegi and Vicky. In the case of Kijana, Hegi. Akija was standing on Hegi. But he told me, take this name, you will need it. Because this child, how you go on a bazaar? Lekai, Manaki, Ningwana. I'm the son of God. So I've got Lekai, with the grace of God, and Lekai. Why am I I told her, are you carrying twins? She's here, she told me no. Why do we know not twins? Uh-uh. I thought we were twins, so they cannot be twins. And I gave her my hand, go and check. You are carrying twins. And she went. She did a scan. She came back. And when the query the twins in Lakini, you were told by the doctor, the two of them are girls. I used to go to the Udnaust and Ogapi. I can say, oh, really? Ogapi? Oh, really? I'm just like, go and prepare yourself. Because even these ones are girls. Meaning what? Four. So what the devil said, the doctors repeated. But what I got in praise, the doctors could not change. Today the boy is walking calling again. Let go. Doctors gave a report. The devil's power. But they could not stop what priest said. In praise, I got the name. And the boy came. Sir, what you get in praise cannot be uttered. Cannot be altered. Cannot be changed. May you get something tonight. May you get something tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Praise. Praise. How do we provoke God? How do we trigger God? Into action. Into our favor. Psalm 68. Let God arise. For Meaning what? Let God arise. For God to arise is to mean what? He was not recent. Meaning what? Maybe he was asleep. Mm. Or maybe he was silent. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Let them also for that hating flee before him. Let God arise. Until God arise, your enemies will not be scattered. Mm. Until God arise, those that hate you will never flee. They will be there tormenting you. Verse 3 is, as long is driven away, so drive them away as wax. Melt them before the fire, so let the wicked pray. By praising him, by exalting him, by thanking him, by magnifying the Lord. Verse 3 reads, But let the righteous be glad. But let the righteous be glad. Let them rejoice before God. Let them rejoice. And again, let them rejoice before their God. Then, yeah, let them exceedingly rejoice. Exceedingly. Meanwhile, go beyond the normal. On God familiarity. And praise God in the holy. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> you know, Pastor, for us, you know, for, for us who, who, who are like, we are with this software, you know, we, 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 we don't pray like that. No, we praise exceedingly. Yeah. And again, we rejoice. And again, we dance. And again, we jump. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Before God, let them exceedingly rejoice. Verse 1 says what? Sing unto God. Meanwhile, this man is not listening. He's silent, but for him to arise and scatter, many attempts to pray that prayer. Oh God, arise and let your enemies be scattered. But he goes ahead to say what? Sing. You don't cause God to arise. You don't trigger him. You don't provoke him into action by prayers, but by singing. Sing unto God. Sing praises. Sing to his name. Extol him that rendered upon the heavens by his name. Ja. And it is before him. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Extol him that reigned upon the heavens by his name, Jah, and rejoice before him. Amen. And when he arises, he scatters. When we praise God, what does he do? Number one, it's what you call supernatural restoration. Amen. When we praise God, he does what we call supernatural restoration. 
restoration that cannot be explained naturally. You are praying God restore. God restore to me the years that the candle of the caterpillars and the locusts have eaten. Maybe you are praying it has never restored you. The joy in your marriage, the peace in your children, the direction to your children. I don't know it's making you maybe cry as a parent. Maybe your child is given to drugs, maybe. Maybe to alcoholism. I don't know what it is. Why don't you just praise God tonight for that child? That God, anyhow, I praise you. That my child is still alive and still have got their potential to change and to become a worthy child and a child to praise you. Hallelujah. Praise him. Praise him. Praise him. Supernatural restoration. Look at the book of Job chapter 1. 1 and 2. This one I was just being taught by God. Pull it, pull it. Job chapter 1, verse 2. Job 1, 1 and 2. There was a man in the land of Uz whose name was Job. And that man was perfect and upright and one that feared God and excluded evil. Verse 2. And there were born unto him seven sons and three daughters. Mark your Bible, make your Bible, please. This man called Job. The man was an upright man, a man that is still evil. And this man had seven sons and three daughters. This man called Job. But something happened. Let's jump to verse 18 and 22. 18 to 22. Because of time. Supernatural restoration. Okay, give me, give me 16. Let me start from there for better understanding for the person. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of God is fallen from heaven and has burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Come the work out of it to make her. Put yourself in the shoes of God. I don't know the report that you've been given. I don't know what you've been told about your life or about your health or about your marriage or about your children, or about your job. I don't know the negative, the painful report given to you, but I believe your report might not be painful as this of Job. Might not be. Then was in the While he was yet speaking, there came also another saying, the Chaldeans made out three bands, and fell upon the camels, and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the aid of the sword. And I only, I'm escaped alone to tell thee. Now, let me to you as what? Condor, or men can be a what? Muzi, or men can be a what? Puda, or what? But he was. While he was yet speaking, there came also another saying, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. Verse 19. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead, and, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. All your children are now dead. Come as for me if you go if you go to water and I'm here. I'm gonna make you water, how I put it. What to what it how I put it on the kufa. And look at this man called John. Verse 20. Then Job arose. Put yourself in the shoes of Job today. And Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his head and fell down upon the ground and worshipped. How? Give me another version. This man, Bada Kombi Hayote. Bada Kombi Hayote. When you're given a report of insight, and you'll be paid. And maybe you give you money here. The only God you have is now dead. And then maybe some people came in and took your chicken away. Dog got to his feet, ripped his robe, shaved his head, then fell to the ground and worshipped. How? This man of God called John. Look at Pastor Duan. Pastor Duan. Two one. Next one. Naked and return to the womb of the earth. God gives, 
God takes God's name be ever blessed. And if you go to other versions, it says what? God's name must be praised forever. Ah. It's easy to read, sir. Yes. It's very easy to read. This man was the greatest man in the land of the East. Blessed, upright, a man that has killed evil. Meanwhile, there's nothing that we are going through tonight that gives you a right to complain or to murder. There's nothing that you are going through tonight, no matter what the doctors have told you tonight. Why don't you believe God that God Almighty tonight? You are changing my story supernaturally. Amen. Back in Dika, a lady came, totally on the floor. I can put a fracture and bring a scalp. Back in Dika. Totally on the fracture. She came with an envelope carrying the report. And I've never forgotten again. It was a trumpet day again in the morning. And like a quarter, told no pastor, told nobody. And she danced her dances. She danced, she saw tall. And in a small woman discharge. Am I going to take it? Imagine that Rukana, Ama Samu, Ama Sudanese, but he danced. She danced. And she took the report and went back to the doctor with the same, same child. She took her, you gave me food now. And after going back to the doctor, the doctor asked the, the lady, what happened to you? Why? Because the fracture is no more there. Mm. No prayer. I like not to disorder. Nobody made any prayer. Let me not boast. Let me not pray. I prayed for her. I never prayed for her. She told nobody. She came to testify after. She danced with a report in her hand of a fracture of the brain of her child. Look at Job. Verse 22 says what? There was 22. In all this, in all of this, Job did not sin by blaming God. He never sinned by murmuring. He never sinned by complaining. Many a time there were so many reasons to complain. And if you are buried, have you buried them all? You might have lost something. Have you lost everything? To a point that even your own body, Marcos are coming out when you're walking. And this man said, What? I will never blame God. Give me a KJV version. Let's have a KJV. KJV version. In all this, Job sin not, nor charge God foolishly. To refuse to praise God is charging God foolishly. Mm -hmm. Charging God foolishly. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Does giving will restore anything, any day, any time? Does giving, praise, will restore anything? By the grace of God, I've seen a man divorced for 42 good years, restore. 42 years, restore. Divorce completely, one in Uganda, one in Kenya. But the grace of God came back together, divorced, with divorce papers. And during the divorce, this woman got operated on. I think, was it the ovaries? How many people who? But she was operated on. Past 50. Past 50. Past 50. With the divorce papers. And by the grace of God. What are you thinking? Why don't you go back to your husband? Pastor, it's over 10 years now. It's over 10 good years. Why is the man? He's still there. I know what Now we know uh-uh. Praise God anyhow. By the grace of God, the God of restoration restored them. Not only restored them, by the grace of God, today she's called Mama Emmanuel. She was restored and she knew I can never give back. Why? Because I'm past Mama Pus and Menopus and Papa Pus. But that's why it is called Pus. Meaning what? You cannot pause and continue. Amen. And God had paused and con 
continued supernatural restoration. Amen. Amen. Yes. And when she caught the baby, she was given a BMW as a BMW gift. BMW. After come back in for 10 good years, may God restore you tonight. Amen. May God restore you tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Don't ask this question. Look at the supernatural. Why do I say supernatural? Because it is supernatural. In the book of Job, chapter 42, 10. Job 42, 10. When we praise God, He restores us supernaturally. Hallelujah. How I don't know, but He does. This man called Job, He praised God all along. Even if my Redeemer, even if He slays me, I know my Redeemer liveth. I'll still exalt Him and praise Him. For I know He liveth. And Jehovah turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And Jehovah gave Job twice double as much as he had before. Then verse 11. 11. Then all his brothers, okay, then to verse 12. Not the master. So the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life. So to half time. No wonder to go with Swasita, the year 2022. Half time. Doing praise. Because Job was at the half time of his life. So the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life, even more than in the beginning. For now he had 14,000 sheep, 6,000 camels, 1,000 teams of oxen, and 1,000 female donkeys. Was that it? He also gave Job seven more sons. Seven more sons and three more daughters three more daughters praise the lord Amen. verse 14 he named his first daughter Timima, the second Kezia, the third Karen Hapuch mm -hmm. in, order, in all the land somebody say in all the land, all the land. no women Oh, are so lovely as so so the daughters of Job the Praiser. Oh, the and their father put them into his will along with their brothers. Amen. That's the Bible line. When the Bible says, and all his children died, they died. Mm. Then come here, second half, again, seven. Plus three. Where were they? I take you to the book of Ezekiel chapter 37. When Job was praising God, Job told Ezekiel, can this bone live? Can this bone live? And he said, I don't know. And Ezekiel was taken through the valley of the dry bones. And was told prophesy. Meaning what? When they praise, God commands prophets to speak on their behalf. Amen. Prophesy. Prophesy. Why? Because there's a praiser somewhere who is praising me, exalting me, magnifying me. And when you magnify the Lord, prophets are sent in your way and in your favor. Not the divine but prophets. Amen. Can this bone live? And he said, I don't know. And the bones became a great army. And that army, here they are. So beautiful. Meaning what? You are only ugly but the level of your dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Your moves determines your looks. You know that some people are just there. No wonder. Some people look like hippos. <laughs> yeah, please, I'm rude. I'm rude. Call it. God told me that. Please give me KGV version. God never gave John seven more sons, but he gave him seven sons. But the potential, the deposits, the purpose. In these second sons, seven of them had great and double potential and destiny than the first ones. He had also seven sons and three daughters. Sorry, I love you again. The same sons and Nicholas. Sorry, I love you He resurrected them. Mm -hmm. He restored them because they never grew. 
Yes. Praise. Mm. Praise. We will do things that we don't have to go through the natural way. Yes. No protocol. When we look at the wrong way, the other style, we can look at Saba. We can look at Saba. Seven of them came together. There are three daughters, and they were so beautiful, so handsome. I come from Madina, and in the whole land, how can you come from? And what for four? Many what their power of resurrection stepped into the life of Job, mm -hmm. and the sons were resurrected. I don't know what is dead in your life. I don't know what it is. Tonight, as you praise Him, praise Him with understanding. Chapter one, they said, they died. Is it true? Yes. Here, seven again, three again, and double. Meaning what? The same you, my God. The same you. God will deposit in you. What in others to it will be double. Call the single and deposit in you a greatness that is double to others. Amen. To the glory of God. Amen. Why? The mystery of praising God. Can this bone live? Can this business work? Can this marriage work? Can I ever get married? Tonight, I'm just helping you. Turn around, turn around, and go around it. Surround it. Go around that girl seven times like the whole of Jericho. Yeah. And the whole of Jericho will come down. If it came down, this one will come down. Yeah. The glory will come. Amen. 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 Number two, it breaks the unseen chains and corrects the evil for the of our eyes. The mist and the wonders of it. Look at the book of Psalms 11, verse 3. It's a mystery. Praise is so mysterious. Look at this job. This man understood. If I complain, they will never rise again. Yes. They will never come alive again. But he said, Do you know what? I will charge God foolishly. The man drained the cloth. Removed everything. Naked, 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 and go. But the man worshiped. The man praised God. Bless. How do you bless God? How do you bless God in that given moment? And he bless God, and I will judge him foolishly. My protest actually gave more than the Kiyaki. What I say in the Kanisa Leo. That that is a sign for me not to go to church. A sign. My friend, I tell you the truth. You lose everything. God is the reason I saw you have not lost everything. Hallelujah. Psalms 11. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do to their own The righteous can praise. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Give me the answer. Christ. If your foundations are wrong, if they are faulty, what can the righteous do? Praise God for the foundations to be repaired. And the answer is still in the Bible, in the book of Acts, chapter 16, 23 to 26. If the foundations of my life are faulty, what can I do as a righteous man? Praise God. And when they had laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison. God was telling me this. There are so many people in church today, Nicholas, that we look okay, but we are changed. We are in church, but we are changed. Financially, we are changed. Maritally, we are changed. As ministers, we are changed. And we think we are there, but we are changed. And when they have laid many charges upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Meaning what? They jailed them. They killed them. And they said what? Keep them safely. When they in jail, you are not permitted to have any money with you. When they in jail, you are not permitted to have any possession in your name. When they in jail, you totally submit everything to the jailer. You are belt, you are shoes, you are everything. <laughs> and when they have laid many times upon them, they cast them to prison, charging the jailer to keep them safe. <coughs> may, may you come to the name of Jesus. Yeah. Verse 24. Who having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in the stones. Verse 25. And at midnight, at midnight, please understand English today. If I came to preach to you, I'm going to tell you something. 
Paul and Silas prayed. So, I call this one prayer. Saba. Please tell me what you are Come on. You are going to be a little bit. You are going to be a little bit. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. Prayed. Yes. So, I let them pray. Mm -hmm. Then prayer never functioned. Yes. Prayer never delivered. Then they switched and sang. And sang. Combined now. And meaning what? It's prayer plus singing. Then what happened? Praise us unto God. And their prisoners had them. They prayed. And after that, sang unto God. Praise us. And their prisoners had them. What happened? Verse 26. And suddenly, and suddenly, what prayers could not deliver, praises delivered. And suddenly, there was a great earthquake. So that their foundations, meaning what? Your foundations, you might have prayed. God correct every 40 foundations in my life. If the foundations be 40, what can the righteous do? Praise God! And your 40 foundations will be corrected. Your foundations of poverty will be corrected. Your foundations of integrity will be corrected. Every faulty foundation in your life may God correct it tonight. In Jesus' mighty name. May God correct every faulty foundation in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. And suddenly there was a great outbreak. So that the foundations of the pieces were shaken. And immediately all the doors were open. May every shut door before you be open tonight. May every shut door before you this year be open tonight. Jesus mighty name, may your doors be open tonight. May your destiny be released tonight. May all that the devil has shut in your life be open tonight. In Jesus mighty name, may your contracts be open tonight. May your promotion be released tonight. May your finances be released tonight. May your promotion, your lifting, your healing be released tonight. In Jesus mighty name, may you be healed tonight. Praise delivers wonders. The wonders of praise. They praise God and there was an earthquake. Meanwhile, in the spiritual realm, there will be an earthquake. And whatever will be holding your life, holding your destiny, holding your lands, holding your cars, holding your marital destiny, may they be released tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Foundations of the prisons were shaken and immediately all the doors were open and everyone's bands were loosened. Look at this mystery. They prayed and sang praises to God. And their chains could not change the verse of Pastor Hatasiona. Could not change the verse of deliverance. Kumbuka Apostle Paul was a man in deliverance. He was a mighty man of God. A mighty man of God. But he knew the secret. He nita India. He nita Omba. I believe that the rest of the chains fell off. Nicholas, whatever is chaining you to any satanic altar, as you hit those grounds, those chains one after the other, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many are said to praise God tonight? Amen. 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 Praise. Praise. Yes. Praise. Works wonders. 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 There's a, there's a testimony given in Shiloh. There's a lady that was dancing. And one asked the lady, Pastor James said, was Pastor James, Pastor James, she was dancing to me, she was asked, are you a soldier? Because of the way she was dancing. And she was believing God for her marital destiny. Are you a soldier? The way you are dancing. She was cutting more things. And before the next year was over, it was proposed whatever more like a In this very service, even children are there. Marriages are there. Amen. Weddings are there. Amen. Jobs are there. Amen. It is something. And, and suddenly there was a great earthquake. So that the foundations of the prison were shaken. Every prison. To be in a prison, you are not permitted to have anything. 
You are not permitted to experience any favor. You are not permitted to have anything in your name in a, as a prisoner. But the foundations were shaken. The prison doors were open. The chains were broken. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Look at Psalm 63, 3 to 4. Because thy loving kindness is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. Verse 4. Thus will I bless thee when I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. Praise the Lord. We're going to be lifting our hands, lifting our voices, jumping and skipping and praising our good God in the name of Jesus Christ. And lastly, When we praise God, it gives us access to revelation. And God told me this, revelations are the wings to your high heights in life. There is no man that will go up in life minus revelation. God will reveal to you something. Whatever God reveals to you, he sets you above your peers. And Daniel was found to be 10 times better than his peers. Why? Because God revealed himself to Daniel. In the area of dreams and interpretation, Daniel was thought to be ten times better than his peers. He was thought to be better than astrologers, than the magicians. Why? Because God revealed to him, but no man knew. And so please God, because there are some things you get. He will talk happy. How do you know sometimes and you like, he will talk happy one? The way your brain is working. Sometimes I tell people, there are some people who are so afraid of using their brains, and they want to take their brains back to God, still right. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you want to you want to take a gift to God, and you are there, Daddy. I've been on planet Earth for seven years, and I brought you back my brains, totally wrapped, never used. No one idea, new. I've ever crossed your mind. I buried it. What you telling me? The body carried. It was the brain. Mm -hmm. Buried in the skull. No dingo. No one idea. No revelation. Revelation. When you praise God, He reveals things to you. He reveals. Show me any prophet of God, and I'll show you a man that loves praising God. Any prophet is given to music. Any prophet of God, genuinely, must be given to worship and praise and that's given. Every prophet, a prophet and music they go together. Any prophet, any prophet. Because they are not allowed to be gloomy. They are not permitted. Stop being gloomy. In the book of Galatians chapter 2 2. God, when you get a revelation, it will set you apart with the land of God. It will set you apart. It will set you apart. There are some things that Bishop Bailey is training on today. That when you talk about ministry, you must go to him. You must go to that man. When you talk of faith, you must go to Bishop Bailey. Whether you like him or not. Because there's what he knows that you don't know. And the man shouted, I can never be poor. Ever. I can never be poor. I can never die young. Man, it is God. But it's what you got from God. And the man is a praiser. The man is a dance giver. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Meaning what? It's a lifestyle. A lifestyle. Giving thanks to God. This one. And I went up by. You don't go up by prayer, sir. It's a revelation. In that business, don't do business because people are doing business. God, give me a revelation of what to do. And when you get it, I'm done and go. But many times you do things that you are doing because you're imitating others. When God reveals to you what to do, many are said to And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preached among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. 
God is here to do one thing today. As I praise you. You can, there are some people I know, they praise God and God gave them the names of their husband. Mm. Praise God! Yeah. You praise God! And the name is dropped to you. Bam! Yeah. Name written down. I know that I know that I know that I know I went up. I got married by revelation. I got married by revelation. Hallelujah. How many are you to praise this God? Supernatural restoration. Come on, come on, you should work a summer. Nicholas, Mungo, I love Makaburi. I can be Ezekiel. Tell this world to live. I don't know. They must live. They belong to John. Yes. Their man is praising me. The Bible is not in order. We don't know which book or to follow which one. Yes. But that one, Ezekiel 37, and John 42, agrees. Yes, sir. Can this world live? Yes, they can live. And you are given back. Rejoice, and again I say, rejoice. Many what? Leap and jump, and again I say, leap and jump. Rejoice, and again I say, rejoice. Restoration. Amen. 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 My brother. 